Hey students, you already know that there can be two types of alignments. The first one was the local alignment, while the second one was the global alignment. So just let me remind you that in the global alignments, we had two sequences that were sliding across each other such that their overall lengths, they were equal. So in case one sequence was short, we inserted gaps and we stretched that sequence such that it matched the longer sequence. For the local sequence alignment, we did not do that and we were happy with just the local alignments between the two sequences. So now that we have done the needleman wunsch algorithm and the trace pack, which kind of alignment does the needleman wunsch algorithm give you? Is it a local alignment or is it a global alignment? It is a very important point because at this point we will be looking at how to use trace pack in order to have a global alignment or a local alignment. So let's start. So this was the scoring matrix that we filled up in the needleman wunsch algorithm. These are the two sequences that we are trying to align. This is our initial condition. And these elements were calculated one by one until we calculated the last element in the matrix. So once you have this matrix with you, you can then trace back somehow and reach the top left. So now you have traced back and connected the last element with the first element in the matrix. In this way, now your trace back is going to stretch one sequence that is there on the left side and compare it with the sequence on top. So essentially, the needleman wunsch algorithm and the trace back strategy allows you to have a global alignment. So here we go again. So this was how the trace back occurred in the example. And if you look carefully, then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nucleotides here and eight nucleotides on the J axis. So the seven nucleotides will be converted into eight with one gap. So in this way, the two sequences will be of equal length, except that there will be a gap inserted in the sequence on the left side. So where will this gap be located? We'll look into it by considering this portion of the trace back later. So what if we have a different trace back strategy? So in this needleman wunsch trace back strategy, we're using the bottom right and connecting it to the top left. What if we can start the alignment from some arbitrary position within the matrix and then try to connect small portions within the alignment? So such a situation will help us to create a local alignment. So needleman wunsch alignment will be a global alignment and the local alignment will be obtained by having a different traceback strategy. So this traceback, just an, as an example, maybe a portion like that and here, here, here. So there can be these diagonals that you can select instead of selecting the horizontals or verticals. So these diagonals can help you create a local alignment. So local alignments will be considered later, but the idea here is that the type of traceback allows you to consider either the global alignment or the local alignment. So in conclusion, the traceback strategy that was described to you earlier is a global alignment strategy and is a part of the needleman wunsch algorithm. Towards the local alignments, you can have the Smith-Waterman algorithm and it can help you to elicit the local alignments and that we will see later.